Hi, this is Bob Shanks from MSB Internet Marketing once again talking to you about uh, this time around we're going to talk about AdWords, Google AdWords. Uh, Google AdWords is basically a way to put ads on your competitors search results. So if I were to type in here Porsche, I'll give a little bit of an example. Uh, gotta type in Porsche, my favorite car. Uh, you look it up and it says right about here porsche.com official porsche so basically what they did is they bid on their own their own uh, website and what it does is pops it up automatically when you go there so if you search porsche they have a bid on porsche so each time that someone types in porsche uh, the results will get an ad that will pop up right here or on the side here we might be able to scroll down and maybe see well there's no ads here but sometimes they might post them here on the sides also um, most of the time they post them at the top here and usually it's the top three bids that get it uh, so basically if we go to let's see we'll search uh, the website for Hemker Zoo we'll go Hemker Zoo and what pops up here is it has no ads so that's fantastic because you can go as low as one cent per bid or one cent per click so or one cent uh, I mean one one cent per search is what I meant sorry uh, so you get once one penny and basically what it is is it's to put an ad on your your competitors website or their search results so um, we'll go maze and farmyard pops up you would uh, bid on that and what would happen is when somebody searches a maze and farm uh, uh, farmyard which is one of your main competitors what would pop up is instead of this right here it would pop up with an ad for Hemker Zoo, or it could pop up over here on the side for Hemker Zoo. Uh, so that's just a way of getting a little bit of recognition on other websites, getting people to come to uh, your website. Uh, one web one search that we thought would be good is Amazing Farm, like it's spelled right here. Um, and that's just because a lot of people don't know exactly how that's spelled, but they hear about it from a friend, or they hear about it on the news or the TV, um, even maybe the internet. They saw it in a YouTube video, uh, something like that. So they type in Amazing Farm, thinking it's spelled that way. So what you could do is you could bid on Amazing Farm, and this will pop up here also, right around here, but instead it'll pop up with an ad right here. Uh, it is kind of a process to set up a Google AdWords account, but basically you just you go to Google and then it should have a uh, a website should pop up like this. Uh, just Google search AdWords. It should bring you to the actual website to be able to set up an account you can go here uh, get your ad on Google today start now uh, it's fairly it's a fairly easy process there's not too much to but yeah your email address what's your website uh, continue I'm not gonna go through all the steps because it'll just take too long but it's just a four-step process super easy and it's going to make the business just have a lot of pop. It's going to make sure that if somebody searches for your competitors, they're going to see Hemker Zoo before they're going to see your competitor, Amazing Farm. A couple of the options that we decided on for words would be Farm, Amazing, Amaze N, just like the, the competitor, Amaze N Farm, uh, and also Zoos. Zoos and Farm might be cost a little quite a bit more because there could be other competition out there such as fleet farm uh other farm yards uh let's say green giant uh has a farm that you can go to they might 
already be bidding on that word farm. So uh, a few to stick to that so far have no bids on them whatsoever is Amazing Farm, Amaze and Farm. Uh, but we did search in farm and it's going to cost a little bit more because there's several ads for farm on Google already. But just to finish everything up since this video has gone a little bit longer, um, get on Google AdWords as soon as you possibly can. It's going to squash your competition. It's going to make a lot of things so much easier. People are going to know that you're out there even if they go, they don't even look for yours. Uh, it probably wouldn't be a great idea to bid on Hemker Zoo because there's no one that has bid on Hemker Zoo yet. So you're pretty much free to just leave that the way it is. I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit about Google AdWords and given you a few ideas to expand your business. Uh, thank you for listening to me and have a wonderful day.